Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about adding, subtracting polynomials, and we're going to simplify each expression. So if I was given this expression, parentheses, 12, a to the fifth, minus 6a, minus 10a to the third, parentheses, minus 10a, minus 2a to the fifth, minus 14 a to the fourth. Okay? Well, <clears throat> so what I want to do now, okay, is I'm going to simplify this. Now we're looking first, we're looking at each parenthesis, and we see that, oh, we can't simplify there, so I can't do that now. So what I'm going to do is add a, uh, take all these subtraction signs and add a negative. So I have 12a to the fifth plus a negative 6a plus a negative 10a to the third. Then I'm distributing now the subtraction sign across. So we have plus a negative 10a right here. Then this one here, distribute across plus a positive, negative, negative, positive 2a to the fifth. And distribute the last one here, plus a positive again, plus a positive 14a to the fourth. That's probably the most common thing I see from students is they don't distribute that subtraction all the way across. They just do it to the first term, and that's it. It needs to be to all parts because they're in that parentheses. So now I have all six terms here, I need to rewrite them highest degree first. Okay, highest degree, I see is to the fifth power. Take note of that. So 12a to the fifth, and I'll put a little dot saying that I've brought that one down. Then in this one here, plus 2a to the fifth. See that one? And I don't see any more to the fifths. So now the next highest degree is to the fourth power, 14, uh, plus 14a to the fourth. So we have plus a 14a to the fourth right there. That's an a, not a 9. Mark it. Now, okay, I have the fourth power. What's the next highest power? I see to the third. So we have plus a negative 10a to the third power. Got that. Fantastic. So now let's bring the next highest ones I see are just the a's. So we have plus a negative 6a right there and plus a negative 10a right there. Okay. So now let's go combine our like terms or let's double check and bring everything down. Every single one of these terms has a dot, so we should have brought it down, but it's good to double check. check. 12a to the fifth right there, negative 6a right there, negative 10a to the third, fantastic, negative 10a right there, 2a to the fifth right there, and 14a to the fourth right there. Good. Now let's combine our like terms. 12a to the fifth plus 2a to the fifth is 14a to the fifth plus, there's no other fourth, uh, a to the fourth power, so we have 14a to the fourth. Okay, that's not that a on the top. I'm not raising it. This one applies much. And then this plus negative 10 to the third, nothing to combine it, so we can rewrite that to be minus our subtraction, right? 10a to the third. And then six, negative 6a plus negative 10a is a negative 16a, so that's a minus 16a. And so now we have our final answer here. 14a to the fifth plus 14a to the fourth minus 10a to the third minus 16a. So let's recap. We're given 12a to the fifth minus 6a minus 10a to the third. Parentheses, my, and then minus parentheses 10, uh, 10a minus t, uh, 2a to the fifth minus 14a to the fourth. I then <clears throat> made everything adding a negative, did that over here, and distributed the subtraction sign and made everything plus a negative or plus a positive. Then I rearranged, uh, I'll use the commutative property, the highest degrees first, okay? And I put little dots underneath to double check, make sure I had, you know, brought everything down. I did. Then I simplified. And I added 12a to the fifth plus 2a to the fifth to make 14a to the fifth. The 14a to the 4th just came down, that a is one sorry looking a. And then adding a negative and wrote, wrote now just a subtraction for my final answer, 10a to the 3rd. And then minus uh, 6a plus 10a is a negative 16a, so we subtract a 16a right there. So now my final answer, being nice and neat, is 14a to the 5th plus 14a to the 4th minus 10a to the 3rd minus 